Hey guys, Darren here. Going to be kind of a quick video. What we're going to do today is make a quick and easy Faraday cage. What we're doing, a metal container with a tight screw top lid, metal as well, metal clad all the way around to block any uh, electrical signals. We're going to insulate it with cardboard uh, so nothing that we put inside it radios will come in contact with the sides and potentially short out again this is all theory conjecture you know supposition so what we're going to do is line it all the way around and then we're going to put it in here and how do we know well we don't to be honest you can you know do the old put the cell phone in there and do it and call uh, it, it, it that's really not that effective uh, what you're doing this for is a uh, electromagnetic uh, pulse uh, which uh, a nuclear blast would strip uh, uh, electrons off of uh, the oxygen and atmosphere and then it would cause a really powerful blast. Rendering all of uh, modern uh, contrivances and electronics useless. In a nutshell, like I said, I'm trying to be quick so, what we're going to do, slide this guy in, put this in, put this under here. Oddly enough, and a, and a good side story, this is a brass flare distress signal container for ocean-going vessels. And I thought, hey, that's pretty cool. So, more time. And we put the cardboard in the bottom we put it all the way around the sides we're going to make a cover for the top I thought this would be kind of neat to do just a quick easy peasy one and uh, you can also use these uh, ammo cans these are the 50 caliber uh, I use these for controlled substances uh, for a bunch of drugs and everything that we have our medications and everything and I put them uh, situate them because uh, if something happens and you need to grab them, well, you just, you know, reach and grab them and go. And you've got your antibiotics and uh, prescription medications and and more powerful stuff if you need it. Uh, what have you. So, so, I put the two-way radios, and these are the, you know, the really nice ones, the 20-30 channel ones with, uh, you know, the whisper talk and all that stuff. With a charging base, the instructions on how to set up the channels and they are charged. I went ahead and put them inside here and we're going to put a cardboard cap on here to insulate it to keep anything from touching the top and then we will cap it up. Once a month I'll take these things out, charge them, play with them for a little bit and then put them back inside. More to come. There we go. All done and done. In theory, like I said, this should uh, protect against a uh, electromagnetic pulse who knows like I said we will see and I've done uh, radios and some ham stuff uh, some CB's this way as well and just pull them out every now and then and uh, just make sure everything's working who knows thanks for watching guys y'all gonna make some mayhem